Hey, welcome back. I know yesterday I told you that I was done with my time management series and moving on to a new one. But I got a few messages last night and um, have been running into this issue myself. So I'm extending the series by one day, maybe another if I get some more questions, um, into a dinner time edition. I um, recently have been struggling. I usually am at home, so have the freedom to prep and make dinner fresh for us every night. That has become quite the struggle lately. Um, you parents of multiple children, hats off to you. I have no idea how you do it. I have one. Um, she started swimming on Monday, and she swam Monday night. She swam Tuesday night. Wednesday night, she was gone. And then she swam Thursday night. And the problem we're running into is we leave at 4.30. Uh, we are at swimming till 6, have a 20-minute drive home, and it's 6.30, and her bedtime is 7 while we're still in school. So I need to have something ready to rock, um, and I've been struggling. Normally, like I said, I have time to prep and cook. So... What I'm going to share with you is a couple of ideas as I was um, brainstorming next week's meal plan last night at swimming. I came up with a couple ideas. Um, so I'll put some recipes in the blog, but I wanted to just share with you quickly a few of the ideas that I came up with. So yesterday, I um, thankfully had some marinara with um, ground turkey sauce uh, in the freezer from last time we had spaghetti and didn't use all of the sauce. And then I even went as far as to pre-cook the noodles um, during the day yesterday so that when we got home, it was literally a microwave meal, but yet I still felt like we were eating um, semi-healthy. We tried a new spaghetti noodle last night. It's a Berea's, um, or Barilla, I don't know how you say it, Protein Plus. Um, fantastic. Tastes just like normal pasta. Um, Andrew's not a big fan of whole wheat, so I had to come up with um, a second option. Um, something else we kind of talked about were burgers on the grill, um, crock pot meals. I'll put a couple crock pot meals in the blog. Um, and apparently I'm going to have to get back to doing some freezer meals because that way um, you can pre-cook them. Like next week I'm going to do um, stuffed shells and cook them during the day or um, on the weekend and then just be able to pop them in the microwave. Microwave isn't my favorite way, but um, apparently, being the mom of um, a child who has evening activities, I'm going to have to become a fan. Um, I saw another one of my friends um, post on Facebook yesterday. They were having a scavenge night, and I think that that is a fantastic idea. I saw another one of her friends posted. Um, they like to call those potlucks, and I guess the luck part is if you get first dibs. Um, but I don't think that that's such a bad idea either, teaching your family to kind of fend for themselves. So like I said, I'll post some more ideas in the blog, but um, shout out to all you parents who have multiple kids or even just the one like I do, chasing them around um, to different activities. And I know this time of year can be super busy with graduations and school performances, the end of the school year, um, and sports. So like I said, hats off to you multiple children, families, and stay tuned. Um, like I said, I have an exciting new series coming up for you. And thanks for joining me. Have a great day.